hello and welcome to my garden garden tour 2023 it is the first of august and things are looking good i'll bring you in let's go for a tour Let's check out the tomatoes. I've been eating off these. There's flowers coming. Been eating off these for weeks. Wasn't supposed to be a garden harvest video. I wasn't gonna make a garden harvest video, but I do have tomatoes to harvest. So let's get to it. August is the prime time for tomatoes. This is a beefsteak bush. Flame orange, beautiful color to that. Harvesting. If you're interested in these, they are so sweet. They are yellow pears. So many more yellow pears. These what are needing to be harvested. The sunflower is totally encroaching on this tomato plant. These are the sun golds. These are candy. You wouldn't even know you're eating a tomato. And they are over my head, approaching the eight foot level. My trellis is eight feet on this side and it goes down to seven feet. On the other side, it is 35 degrees Celsius, so I got my shade cloth up. And it goes downhill that way to the seven foot mark. None of these ones have reached seven feet. But these ones have definitely made their potential. So I'm just going to put you down right here and I'm going to go harvest some of those because I need those. Let me grab a container. I will be right back. my container. Just do a quick harvest here. It's always good to harvest before you water. With these heat, this heat temperature, 35 degrees Celsius, mid 90s, all week, 95, all week long. Early August, that's normal. 
when you water, you do risk the chance of the tomatoes cracking. So if you can harvest before you water, that would be ideal. So many. Just handfuls. My co workers will enjoy this tomorrow. Make a couple of these little red ones. They will continue to flower and fruit. These are indeterminate tomatoes until the first frost. Just so many. Okay, I'll clean this up off camera. See, that one's split already. Okay, let's check out some peppers. I will be taking a couple of these peppers tonight as well. Tonight I am having stuffed peppers. Yeah, baby. So yummy. Oh, let's take that one right now. Perfect stuffing pepper. Gonna have some heat to it. Plabano. I think there's one more nice one in there too. There's a bunch. Let's take that one too. The thing with peppers, the more you pick, the more you get. This poor little plant says, okay, I got enough seeds, that's it. All the seeds are in there. That's it. Then the plant will also say, I'm giving up. And it'll call it a day. I don't know if I'll take that one. These are habaneros, very early for habaneros. Look at them all, they'll all be orange in short order of time. These are red bells. A little blemish there, that's from the heat. Sun's cold. Oh, that plant is just loaded. Beautiful pepper harvest. Jalapenos here. That's a huge jalapeno. Bananas. Bananas there. So 
So as I said, if you want your plant to keep producing flowers such as these, you have to pick often. You see, this plant has zero flowers on it because I haven't picked a thing. But they're drying out on the vine. I don't do anything with these super chilies except make chili flakes. Like you get at Boston Pizza on your table. Same thing. Also, I save seeds. And this kind of pepper, this dried out, is ideal. Let it dry on the vine. Next year, you plant that seed and you got another bush just like that. I think I'll take one more pepper for tonight's dinner. Look at that. I could use the scissors for that guy. That is a thick stem. Yeah, stuffed peppers, baby. Come on. Yeah, it's stubborn. <clears throat> so that plant might have thought that is enough seeds. I did my job. I made seeds. And I am not gonna produce any more flowers let's hope that's not the case in early August but I do not see any flowers even buds oh there are buds right there Focus. so there are more buds coming so I probably picked that pepper just in time This one is called a Hungarian carrot for maybe obvious reasons. It is carrot shaped and it is orange. There's piles and more coming. There's a chili, super chilies. Again, drying out on the vine. Flowers. There's going to be so many cukes. So the cukes are late. I should be having cukes by now. Bigger than those ones. But they're everywhere on here. And they're late because this used to be a potato bed. I planted very, very, very early potatoes in this bed. I planted in March. I harvested in June. And then I got these guys in. Uh, amazing. Taller than me. Gotta do some trimming on them. Peaches. Just loaded. My peaches are free stone. And they do take longer off this tree I always expect to get peaches nice big juicy ones 
by mid to end September. It is now the 7th of August. Let me pull you in, show you these carrots. Carrots are doing great. Let's see if I can find one. Oh yeah. So I was out here earlier thinning my carrots. Got to save space. That's what I pulled just by thinning. Carrots doing great. Don't think we've talked about the potato bed yet. This here is the second crop. They're just young yet of first earlies. I pulled my first earlies out, got a bumper crop and replanted. That's my second. Those far ones at the far end are my late seasons and they're getting ready to pull. So let's go ahead and see what we got underneath one of those potatoes. Late season potato pull. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. with that off one plant that's not bad that's not bad at all good to know glad I pulled one <coughs> we'll let a couple of these go a little longer but look at those beauties So in this conclusion part of the video, if you happen to see some white specks floating by in the shot, that's just ash falling from the sky from nearby forest fires. So as you can see, the garden is doing wonderful. It's doing its thing. I'm, I'm impressed with it this year. I'm happy with my garden this year. Did good. Still many, many weeks left in the season. Gotta look forward to peaches and then my fall harvest. I gotta plant my fall crops, my lettuces, my spinaches, another round of carrots. Overall, pretty darn satisfied. Stay tuned to this channel for more Vegas content. I am now 17 days away from Vegas. I'm going early September to celebrate my buddy's 60th birthday. Happy birthday, JR! JR, the founder of Vegas Tips and Tricks. See you soon, buddy. But that's the garden tour for summer 2023. 
we might do a fall tour. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in Vegas.